Good morning. My name is Father Rayapa Kasi. I am from Ekatupuri village near Vello, South India. Laudato Si, Pope Francis's encyclical on ecology and environment. I am going to read 150, 150, paragraph for you. Given the interrelationship between living space and human behavior, those who design buildings, neighborhoods, public spaces, and cities ought to draw on the various disciplines which help us to understand people's thought processes, symbolic language, and ways of acting. It is not enough to seek the beauty of design. More precious still is the service we offer to another kind of beauty, people's quality of life, their adaptation to the environment, encounter and mutual assistance, here too we see how important it is that urban planning always take into consideration the views of those who will live in these areas. It's a brilliant writing and the Pope is telling us that uh, when you design, <clears throat> for example engineers, when they design public park or public buildings or landmarks, government buildings, they spend so much of money on design, so much energy, and so much of discussion just to keep some building beautiful outside. Inside you forget about it, how they look, but only outside. Especially in India, we are so off people. We show off. Look at the houses. They design so much for outside, but when you go inside the houses, there is no chair, no benches, no comforts inside the house, only outside. They decorate, they want to show other people how rich they are. Even our churches, they design so beautifully outside. But inside there is no pews, there is no convenient places to sit down, probably echo all throughout liturgy. And uh, when a priest talks in the church, nobody can hear, only echo. So we don't spend lot of interest, lot of money uh, designing inside of the house or the church is only outside. We want to display that we are the rich people, our church is the best, my house is the best, but inside zero, zero. That's what Pope is trying to tell. Not only that, instead of spending so much energy, time and money uh, to beautify the outer facades you know, or the buildings, why don't you Concentrate on some other beauty. Uh, it is not enough to seek the beauty of the design. More precious still is the service we offer to another kind of beauty. Serving other people. Probably taking care of other people. Probably putting the interest of other people first. So that is the the best design. So Pope is writing, people's quality of life, improve the quality of life. Instead of spending so much money on outer facade or outer building, other people are saying, oh, this beautiful building. No, it's telling, increase, spend that energy and that money to increase the people's quality of life and uh, enable People's adaptation to the environment. Today nobody talks about adaptation. In some of the ecosystems like Katupadi, many species of birds have gone away. They know if they continue to live here, I think pretty soon, they don't have any chance. No water, desertification. The birds and animals are so smart, they have adapted to some other environment. They flew away. We don't know where they are, and uh, and uh, adaptation is nothing but go to the place where there is food, water, and good air to raise uh, your family. So adaptation, we need to teach uh, our people how to adapt during this ecological crisis, and then encounter and mutual assistance. And instead of spending so much money on designs. Uh, which, I mean, uh, it's a, it's a, 
it's a waste. It's a waste. Pope is simply telling, use that resources for assistance, for mutual assistance to the people. Give the money to poor. Probably build a small house for them. Buy a small land for them. And uh, we can improve the quality of people's lives, isn't it? So, we continue to waste a lot of money on outer structures, but inner structure and the community structure, our family structure, our other creatures structure. So that is the thing to be improved. So concentrate on reality than fantasy. All these designs of fantasy, but come to reality. So please read paragraph number 150 from Laudato Si, Pope Francis' encyclical on ecology and environment. Again, thanks for these two little rookies, and they behaved very well. And goodbye.